You're worried that you're going to piss somebody off by making a video that speaks your truth? Well, yes, Liz. Sometimes I don't want to offend somebody. Sometimes I don't want to say something that might tick somebody off, especially being in the business that I'm in. I would hate to say something that would offend somebody and then them not work with me. But on the other hand, you have to be who you are. You have to be true. And you have to take that risk because you know what? If I'm being who I am, I'm going to attract the people that are like me. And my business will go a lot better that way. If I'm working with people who aren't like me, it's not going to go great. Typically, there's going to be a conflict of interest or a conflict in, in just personality. And it will make things a lot more difficult. So you do have to be who you are. Now, if you want content to get views and you want to grow your following, you have to do two things. First is you either have to make somebody laugh. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I struggle with that because my sense of humor is just a little off. <laughs> I might think something's funny, but other people are like, yo, what's he talking about? The other thing you got to do is you got to strike emotion. You got to get somebody triggered. And unfortunately, in today's world, it's way too easy to trigger people. I can say two words right now and boom, people are going to get triggered and they can't help but comment. So you have to trigger an emotion from some way. Because if, if someone likes a video, if I do a cool video and someone likes it, they'll go, oh, neat video, and they'll swipe up. They may not hit the, the heart. And content goes further when there's interaction. So you have to do it. You have to get people to interact with your video. If they don't interact with your video, you're going to struggle in that 200 view range or maybe even less. But in order to get things going, you got to speak the way you are. You got to tell people the things that are on your mind. And sometimes when you just see something and it's like total common sense, it's hard not to show people the common sense behind it. And that will trigger some because they don't want to see it or they want to think a different way. Again, if you aren't who you are, you're going to attract people who aren't who you are. In order to be successful in the business, you have to be happy. And so I guess if you do lose some buyers or some sellers because they aren't who you are, it might be for the best.